Welcome to Bitter Coffee. I'm Kelly Coffee, And I'm Margot Batesy. Thanks very much for being here tonight, Margot. Thanks for having me. It's been a couple of weeks. I know. We've had a tough run. <laughs> it's one way of putting it. Um, so we, there's a couple things that I kind of want to get out of the way. Um, I think last show we recorded, we were kind of throwing around the fact that we were going to have somebody fancy on. Correct. And um, that didn't take because, well, a few reasons. A... Um, I work some pretty strange hours these days, Mm -hmm. so I like to go to bed at 6 o'clock p.m. (laughs) Yes. So I was kind of getting used to that brand new schedule. Your new schedule. My new schedule. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I got sick Mm -hmm. and had to go get a COVID test. I know. So that that wasn't fun. No. And Um, you were really down and out i was yeah like i was fine until i wasn't fine yeah and it like kind of came out of nowhere Mm -hmm. but i think i bounced back oh sure it was a couple days it was yeah it was it was touch and go yeah you know we were i it was it was day to day sure for like two days right and then i was i was fine fine. i was totally fine Mm -hmm. um but you had to get tested i did as you have to do now because we have to be responsible to sort of figure out is this a cold? Have I just not been sleeping enough? Right. Or do, do I, I have, have COVID? Yeah. Do I have a potentially deadly virus that I could be through my blood? Passing on to all the people I love and spend time with. Sure. Or like at a fundraiser. It, for example. Or a helicopter. A hate rally. <laughs> I don't know. Without masks. <laughs> For months. Yeah. Um, so I had to go and get a COVID test mm-hmm. and Then we were going to record the following Friday, last Friday, Mm -hmm. and what happened? I got sick Mm -hmm. and had to go get tested for COVID. (laughs) Now, did you build it up into your head that it was going to be like the most horrific thing? You know, I didn't allow myself to think about it Oh, because I really didn't feel well. And I was like, you know what? I just have to, I just have to do this. Yep. So I got nervous when I was like waiting in line, sitting in my car. Right. But at that point, what am I going to do? Like zoom out of the parking lot without no. the test? Because you can't go back to work. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's the other piece is yep. that we couldn't, our employers, you know, knew that we were sick. And so we had to get tested in order to get cleared to yep. go back to work. Needed a note saying I'm good right. to go. Which again, very, is a responsible thing to do. And, Absolutely. You know, we need to worry. But yeah, it wasn't the most comfortable thing I've ever experienced. No, it wasn't the worst. And I mean, right. When I, and I think people know this about me, when I get nervous, I tend to overthink things Mm -hmm. and then I just, I cannot stop talking about them. Right. So I let the nurse know that I was really nervous. Yeah. And then everything was just, it was like a lightning round of that's what she said. There was very like, I'm going to stick it in. We're going to go all the way back. I'm going to spin it around for 15 seconds. Right. And... (laughs) Just like that. That's Just, what it was in the car. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> but once it was over, it was good. It was fine. Yes, yeah. And I got to check that box. And then waiting for the results. Ugh, maddening. Kind of bad. Yes. I got the results same day. See, I was about, I was I, almost 36 hours later, yeah. which isn't bad, given how long some people have had to wait in right. other parts of the country and- you know, at other times during the pandemic, but it's still, when it's you, it's stressful. All the rules go out the window. Oh, completely. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to flex too hard, but I think I have a little bit more juice at the hospital because I got my results same day. I, you know, I'm not <laughs> denying that. <laughs> I think I, I think it was the only person who got tested yeah. that day. That's what it was. I know. Who gets I a know. COVID test on a Friday? Uh, no one. Me. Well, you went on a Friday too? <laughs> yeah. The day I was sick, I went. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Oh, that's right. You were same day. I was next day. Yeah. No, wow. I I called really early that morning, and okay. they got me in that day, um, and then I found out on Saturday. What's the worst part of the test of the, the COVID? Fifteen seconds that it's it's bad in your nose. Yeah, it's really bad. It's also bad because I know that there are other ways to do it, and so I was like, "Hey, UVM." jump on right you know like the self-administer test yeah not as not it's not as accurate i know i know it's not but mm-hmm. when it's me in my comfort level yeah i don't care yeah but didn't you feel like you could just take the rest of the day off after that oh i had to lie down mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i was exhausted yeah and of course they're like okay you're in quarantine i'm like well i have been you know i have been quarantined so i just 
arrived back at home and told Grace and Dan, who were doing school and work from home, like, mm-hmm. sorry, I have to quarantine. Sorry. I'm going to my room. Mm-hmm. I'll be watching Netflix. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Are you watching anything new on Netflix? Um, I'm watching old stuff on Netflix. Uh, British Baking Show. I'm I haven't started it yet. Deep into the seventh series. Oh, okay. And I just picked one that I hadn't seen any of them. Okay. Um, and and jumped in. I'm. I think tonight is my is the final. I'm really excited. Whoa. And, and is uh, it, what what number is on now? What's the new one that was eight. just? Okay, so you're you're. But literally just jumped in. Was like, well, haven't seen these people. Okay. Have you so. seen the previous six seasons? Bits and pieces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's another show that you're uh, all do. Um, you're kind of obsessed with, right? Well, yes. Okay. <laughs> What's the name of the show? All or Nothing. Okay. And it's about the Tottenham Spurs. <laughs> you're, their, you're their new number one fan, right? I am their hugest fan. Mm-hmm. So it's this series on, I think, Amazon Prime. Because like any modern family, we have every streaming service under the sun. Absolutely. Um, And I'd watch previous ones of these All or Nothings. Because I'm a sucker for the behind the scenes and the sports. Okay. I, I love a sports, an inspirational sports movie. Oh. I Like love- Rudy. Like Rudy. Hoosiers. Um, yeah. Oh, like any of that okay. genre. Yeah. I, I love an inspirational okay. sports movie. The Rocky series? Eh, I don't know. Okay. Lukewarm. Okay. But um, I like more the underdog story, which I guess Rocky is, you know, the <laughs> early Rocky. I mean, yeah, I guess the definition. But I mean, arguably. Right. I know. It's the archetype. It's of, always the comeback. Of the, of you the know. whole genre. Yeah. Um, but I also like these real like behind the scenes i and i like them about sports i love like a behind the music like i love any of those types of things what's your favorite behind the music that's tricky i don't know i i you know what mine is i know right off the top of my head what tlc do you remember that don't go chasing waterfalls remember lisa burn turn on channel five lisa burn the house down yeah Mm mm-hmm yeah. It's the best one. That's Vanilla Ice is story. also really good. Yeah. You know, you can find them on uh, YouTube. Oh, I'm on it. Mm-hmm. So back to my Tottenham Spurs. Right. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> everyone. Back to Margo. Who is not a fan <laughs> of football, which is what we call it in England. You can. <laughs> we. I'm a fan. So I was talking to my family about how much I'm obsessed with this club. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I like them all on Instagram. I follow the coach. I follow the lead, the head player, my favorite sure. players. You're in. I follow the club. I'm like ready for match game, you know, match day, like okay. when they have to play and everything. You use a course, lot of British terms right now. I'm just trying to, so trying to keep terms. up. So many terms. You know, like mm-hmm. you're like on the pitch. You're sure. wearing your kit. Yep. There's Hell. so many terms. There's a lot to learn. I know zero about it. Like, the other night I couldn't sleep, so I was, like, reading the history of the club. Of course you were. Because I was like, well, if I'm going to be a fan, like, I've got to know. Yeah. So they're, like, North London. Mm. Their big rivals are Arsenal. I don't know, listeners. Oh, okay. Yeah. If, yeah. Let me know if I'm getting this wrong. But mm, Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't I, know that I our listeners no are also really <laughs> <upon>. Listening. <laughs> Listening now. <laughs> they might have turned us off. Um, Maybe they skipped ahead three minutes. But I the, don't know. But I don't the know their life. Best part of this whole story mm-hmm. is I was sharing this with my husband, who is a big American sports fan. Yeah. You know, he loves football, hockey, American baseball. football. Mm-hmm. Yes, American mm-hmm. football. He's not a soccer fan. Um, He's not a football fan. No. Football. <laughs> with a U. But, um,. <laughs> No, he's not. Um, but that's fine. And he was, he, you know, he's like, Margo, I think it's great that you love it. And he's like, welcome to fandom. Like, yeah. this is fun. It's yeah. fun to have a club to like, sure. root for. You're going to wear their clothes. And I was like, clothes? Like, mm. of what do you speak? Clothes. <laughs> and he directed me to the Spurs homepage. We jumped right into the merch store, basically. Sure, absolutely. And on its way from England is the zip up like the players wear. And I was, I'm tickled. I can't even wait till it comes. Cheerio. So excited. So I. Maybe we could put it on the face, on the Instagram when it comes. <laughs> on the bitter coffee one. Sure. Yes, yeah. no, we're going to. <laughs> yeah, we will. Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. I so you need people to love this as much as I do. And you know what? I have a feeling that our listeners do. I think they might. Like this. I mean, we do have a cricket 
You're not wrong. Mallet? Is it a mallet? I don't. I'm still not it's a sure. Bat. It's a bat. It's a cricket a ba- bat. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the balls are called, though. Just balls? I think they're just... <laughs> I think they're close. <laughs> I don't know. I think Sorry. you're right. Sorry, listeners. It's been I'm a while. Anyway. Um, two Diet Pepsis in. <laughs> That's right. Woo! I am one Diet Pepsi and... Uh, An herbal tea. I was going to say a <laughs> glass of tea. Uh, <laughs> so, but I'm, I tried to take a nap today right. when I got home from work at 1230. Didn't take. Oh. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where the show is oh, going because I, I've, I've been up for a lot of hours. Well, it's um, way past your bedtime. It's fine. Okay. I am finding a couple of things that I no longer, and I, I don't want to say I thank the pandemic, um, but because of the pandemic, mm-hmm. I no longer feel guilty watching a lot of television. I know. I love it. There's nothing else to it do. It feels like the whole world has come to my mindset yep. that this is an okay thing. Yeah. And maybe I it's taken it. a pandemic to say like. Slow down. Yeah. Watch some TV. Maybe watch an entire series of Below Deck Mediterranean. I don't know. Who doesn't like Captain Sandy? You know what? If you don't love Captain Sandy, I, I need you to stop listening to this show right now. I know. I adore you love her. this show. I do. It's it's really, it's about nothing. Sure. And a lot of the drama is just, it's completely fake. But you know what? I can't not watch. I love, that's the best show. I love it. And mm-hmm. there's people with like beautiful accents. Mm-hmm. They're from all over the world. Mm-hmm. There's always like the one American guy. Yeah. Who like says something kind of Dumb. inappropriate mm-hmm. and then he's just kind of like kicked to the side for the rest of the season. Captain Sandy yeah. is no nonsense. No, she runs a tight ship. And literally. did you know she was once almost abducted by pirates? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? I, yeah, recently. Not at work, Sam. Um, I <laughs> I Googled facts about Captain Sandy. Um, she is a Pisces. Okay. She was born February 23rd. Hmm. 1965. So she's Wait, three are days. You a Pisces? I sure yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. So um, say that's right around your birthday. I'm the 21st. She's the 23rd. Mm-hmm. So I guess you know, moving forward, we'll just celebrate our birthday together on the 22nd. Obvious. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. She's like three years older thing. than me. Okay. I'm not. You know, I don't care. Right. Age is nothing but a number. Right. Um. She had kidney cancer. Hmm. And. It was caught very early. She like, I don't know, she had some injury mm-hmm. and a doctor just happened to catch it. Wow. On an x-ray. Yeah. Could have died. Wow. Um, And then the pirate thing, that's kind of where I was like, oh, all right. I love her even more. Mm-hmm. Um, And there's more like interesting it. facts, but I read them at 4.30 in the morning and now I don't remember them. Sure. Yeah. So, so here's a list of things to do, everybody. Um, I would Google based on your recommendation, mm-hmm. all or nothing. Correct. And Captain Sandy Yawn. Her last name is Yawn. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. So, um, and then there's a guy, Captain. Like a, he looks kind of like Captain Kangaroo, but like an oh, angry what's Captain his Kangaroo. Name? That's going to drive me crazy. I guess uh, there's only a way to look it up on. I, I can't remember. How it, we are you on the Googler? That. Yep. All right. You can Let's do see. that. I will. Um, so I watched a lot of below deck Mediterranean mm-hmm. and I started and because I can't watch the news anymore. I just I, I, I can't do it. I'm I'm at a point where I need to watch anything but the news. Right. So I have queued up for next weekend. Michelle and I, we have plans. This is gonna maybe be like our winter project. Mm-hmm. Um, on Amazon Prime, four seasons of Cagney and Lacey. Oh, I know. Pretty excited. Breaking news. Oh. Captain Lee. Captain oh, Lee. Thank yes. you. Yeah. yeah. I don't like him. He um he wrote a book. What's it called? Did Captain Sandy write a book? Um, I don't know. I'm okay. not sure. All right. I bet you know what? I'm sure she did. I'm Probably. sure she did. Um, I'll have to just get that on Amazon. Um so I started watching Unsolved Mysteries. Do you remember this show? I Vaguely. You were talking to me about it. I was basically yelling about it. A little bit. I think. So here's my problem with Unsolved Mysteries. And it's in the title. These mysteries right. are unsolved. 
But every time I sit down and watch one, you, you know what I say? Know. This is going to be great. They're going to find the killer. Right. And it's going to be amazing. And it's going to be the guy that you least expect. So I watched one recently and there was a woman who owned or worked at a hair salon. Doesn't matter. But she was at a hair salon mm-hmm. and she disappeared. And like one guy came in and got a haircut and a woman came in and like got a perm. Mm. And then there was like a shady car in the parking lot of the salon. So the entire show, it was people arguing, but not with one another, mm-hmm. just like independently about what kind of car was in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Like that was the, that was the entire the whole story. Was the, that was a Ford Taurus. No, it wasn't. Oh. It was a Chevy Cavalier. It was this. And, and actually we don't know because it's unsolved. Right. And right. it's 35 years ago. So. When I was watching this, the unsolved mystery for me was one of the people that they were interviewing, whether or not he was missing like half a row of teeth. I couldn't tell. (laughs) So that's what I focused on. I'm like, well, if nothing else, maybe I'll solve that mystery for myself. Yeah. yeah. Because he just, he kind of. Could you slow it down? Could you freeze frame? No, No. there was was nothing. No, like. like yeah. He hit it really well and like I like catch a glimpse and Michelle caught it too. She's yeah. like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I, yeah. and I'm then, there and then too. he's gone. He's off. He's yeah. gone. They're right. back to the Ford Taurus. Right. And right. people arguing like, oh, you know, Ben came in at 11 o'clock and mm-hmm. got a haircut and he was done 10 minutes later. Like, right. hey, who gets a haircut in 10 minutes? Boys. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm sure he probably didn't, I don't know, maybe like not a light hair to begin with, not judging. Yeah. Um, and it led me to remind myself that if I want to get a free haircut, yes. did you receive this text message from the Red Cross? I did. I don't want to brag, but we both donate blood. Well, I mean, in fairness, you donate blood. I donated once. <laughs> but you had fun, didn't you? No, I did. Yeah. I did. And I should do it more often. You should. You got some Cheez-Its, didn't you? I did because I was a little lightheaded. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. if I remember correctly. Yeah. And I was like well, racing I was, like, racing beat- you. <laughs> And I lost, like, I. she's like, look how quick I can fill it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you fire at that belt today. How did I miss that? <laughs> I've, I've been up for a very long time. <laughs> Kelly's like a little slow motion. Um, yeah, I am. Well, you saw, like, when I, the last of my energy was getting the <laughs> spoon, spoon out of the drawer. Out of a drawer. <laughs> it was extremely animated, and I, I have <sighs> no idea why, nor do I have a memory of it. It's okay. Um... <laughs> So <laughs> I hope you remember taping this. <laughs> I might, I might not. You'll wake I don't up know. tomorrow morning and be like, was that a drug? Wait a minute. Is was is Margo, Margo here? Coming over? <laughs> Did we record? <laughs> um so I I got a a message on my on my phone, like an alert on my phone yes. the other day. And I thought it said match game recap do you remember the show match game from yes. the 70s yes i thought it said match game recap and you were in you i were was in like, it you were like awesome <laughs> what happened because all that stuff in the middle right who cares right and and i look closer and and also that. i want to say i'm at a point where I I am I think I'm like now like really legally blind without my glasses. Okay. Like if I were to take my glasses off, I'd have no idea who you are. Okay. I can't read without them. I can't I can't do anything. Right. So I had to look closer and it said watch game recap and it was like mm-hmm. a Yankees game. Who cares? So I started thinking how great would a match game recap be? Cuz right. like when I watched that show as a kid, I really felt like I was getting away with something. Well, it was all, like you said, it was all like the It's innuendo sexual innuendo. And yeah. Like, and it's hilarious, but you don't quite know why. Yeah. Like, you knew, like, I felt like I was getting away with something, but I wasn't sure what exactly. Right. But there was a certain level, like, as a child, a certain level of discomfort. And I think it was on kind of late for our, for kids. I think it was like 3 p.m. Oh. I don't know. No. I, I think I'm just making that up. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think I felt that way when I was little and I would stay at my grandparents. Mm-hmm. I would stay up and watch Carson. Oh, that's late. That's it 1130. Was super late. My grandma yeah. was a night owl and okay. she would let me watch Carson. And I always felt like I was totally getting away with something, which I literally was because I was up at 11 as right. a small child. As a child. Watching Johnny Carson. <laughs> it's my grandmother. 
And she was a big fan of Carson. She loved him. Yeah. So yeah. you were kind of getting away with something because you were doing it with her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but I remember watching Match Game and it was it was always like they play that music, mm-hmm. like the match. It was like a like a organy. Yeah, it was very like and yeah, with like a, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was like seventies. Right, could be carnival music, maybe. <laughs> you know that genre. Yeah. Oh, is this play pipe something organ, from? <laughs> yeah, or but like with, a keyboard. There was a keyboard yeah. and a pipe organ. There was a lot, mm-hmm. and it would be, you know, he likes to st- stick his blank. <laughs> In her blank until she blanks. And then everybody right. laughs. Right. And do you remember, not unlike the show, it would take them like 15 minutes to get through one of those. Right. Because everybody, everybody like breaking up, like laughing so hard. It was J.P. Morgan. Right. And who, who was the guy? Charles. What was his name? Oh. I want to say Charles Barkley. No. Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> yes. Right. Very different. Wow. Two very right. different people. <laughs> Charles one plays Franklin. basketball. Right. One does not. One does not. No, one at wears all. a cravat. Yes. <laughs> yes. One does not. Right. Very different. But one if, of these things is if, not like the other. <laughs> in any way Shape whatsoever. Or Except their name is Charles. I think what we should do, maybe not for this show, because I feel like it's too taxing at this point, but maybe next time, I, I want you to think of the nine people, any celebrity, living or dead. That you would have on match game if you could have. And I mean, you got to you got to be careful. Think about that center square. Right. Hmm. So give it some thought. It's not something that we I have to address now. Remember they always now. had Sherry Lewis and Liam Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they have Liam Chubb on such a racy show? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Was Liam Chubb a racy puppet? And I'm just realizing that now. I don't I don't think so, because Sherry no. Lewis talked like a child, right? Yeah, I think so. So that just made the show even creepier than it was before. I totally forgot there, totally was, there was a puppet on puppet. the show. <laughs> so bizarre. I, I guess maybe in that time? Yeah. You know, you'd like closeted gay guy, J.P. Morgan, who was like usually drunk. Oh, oh Paul Lind was on the show too, right? Well, I think that there were different people. I mean- Obviously, there was different people at different times. Yeah, was it called Match Game? Oh, um, you know what I'm thinking. No, you're of? mixing and matching. Yeah. <laughs> you're thinking of Hollywood Squares. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's, Match see, Game is another one that I shrunk in my own power. That's okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not it. Match Game looks a little bit more like that. Yes, it does. Remember the microphone? It was yes. like a very long. Thin microphone with like a gumball on top. Yeah, it right? kind of looked more like a like a telethon set. That's what it looks like. Like rows of celebrities, like yeah. sitting there. Yeah, and then they three would, and three, yeah, three and three. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then the other one was Hollywood Squares. Okay. Oh wait, they have a Match Game reboot. I told you they did with um, Alec Baldwin. Just <gasps> found it on the Googler. Really? Yeah. Is it currently on? Well, I think it was on this summer. Oh, my God. So I can watch it. Yeah. See, ABC oh, did Summer God. of Fun and Games. They did all these reboots. They did, like, um, the Whammy one, Pressure Luck. Oh, Pressure Luck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, that's an uncelebrated game show. I love that Whammy. No Whammy. No, no whammy, whammy. No Whammy. Stop. Whammy, stop. Yeah. Yes. So you just screamed and, like, hit something. Which it was. And there was literally no skill to, no, at all. No. You just had to, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. scream and then. And they had that um, Elizabeth Banks as the host. Right, for the current one. Oh. She's hilarious. Wow. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Oh, no, I'm no, busy it's this fine. W- no, I'm saying I'm busy this weekend. Oh, yeah. I've got some game shows so, to watch. I mean, if you want to know I mean, where to find me, don't yeah. bother. I've got me a Because I'm watching errands. my game shows. I have a couple errands to run tomorrow and then I'm kind of booked. Wow. Yeah. Um, and you know that, I think you and I talked about this earlier, um, one of my favorite shows mm-hmm. from my youth, Cagney and Lacey. It's coming I mean, you back. You said you said it's one of the best shows ever. I was never a fan. I tell I, me why. Well, I think I was a little young for it when it sort of first ran around. Okay, all right. And I, I don't. I just don't think I ever kind of got into it. Okay, yeah, I was super into it. Um, what Michelle was not into mm-hmm. once I learned that the first four seasons were available, mm-hmm. she was on board, sure. super excited. Um, but I started 
singing the theme song and there's no lyrics right it's just um like- there's like a saxophone mm-hmm. and then like a heavy kettle drum mm-hmm. um and then i was just calling her javi every once in a while so <laughs> i don't know if she's gonna watch the show that. with me yeah um that's okay it's fine and i watched uh, last week san Elmo's fire and you think Here's something, because this is what I like to do when I'm sick. Yeah. I like to put something on television that I can watch with my eyes shut. Yeah. So it's kind of like a half a sleep, just taking mm-hmm. a rest. Just resting my eyes. If I wake up a half an hour later, yeah. I've lost nothing yeah. because I can pick up the plot. Right. And I can do that, that with- that movie, by the way. But here's the thing. What? It is filled with abuse. Mm. Mm-hmm. Verbal abuse. Yes. Emotional abuse. Stalking. Sexual abuse. Stalking. I know. Like, I don't know how, like, yeah. So it was difficult to watch. And then I was like, well, that was 25 years ago. I think longer. Yeah. No, you're right. No. No, you are. Oh, it's got to be way more than 25. Oh, my God. I'm so old right now. Yeah, like closer to 35, I think. Oh, my God. Let's just end the show now. No. It's all right. All right. It's fine. I mean. It's good. I listened, um. Speaking of other podcasts, because um, I'm just a fan of the genre, which think, I've said genre like a hundred times tonight. I don't think we were talking about other podcasts. But we are. <laughs> okay. Um, I just listened. This is about seeing Emma's Fire. Go oh. with me on this. Okay. Um, Rob Lowe, mm-hmm. he had- Demi- Ageless. Oh, my God. He's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he had Demi Moore on his podcast recently. Oh. And it was a really, it was a fun little, they were talking a lot about seeing Emma's Fire. Were so. they talking about about last night? They were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is an underrated movie. Oh, tell me something I don't know, my friend. Love that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I started watching The West Wing. <sighs> Season one, ep one. Do you remember? He meets that woman in the bar. Yes. And then she was like, and he was like, POTUS call, POTUS call. And she's like, who's POTUS? And he was like, president of the United States. Yes. Opening credits. Yes. It's the best opening scene of any pilot Ever. 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 So, yeah, I watched that like three times. Might be, hands down, the best TV series of all time. (sighs) But here's the thing. People don't talk to one another like that. Mm. I have the same problem, or I'm sorry, I have the same observation Mm -hmm. about one of my favorite shows, Newsroom. I love that show. People don't, like... The banter is not that quick. People's brains don't work. Well, uh, people that I know don't right. have brains that work that quickly. But I think the reason I love it so much, and of course they were written by the same person. Yes. Um. Yep. So is like I aspire to that. That's, mm. you know, I want to watch TV to go to a place that I can't get in real life. Okay. I want to be like inspired and moved and provoked in that thought provoking way that both of those shows did so i think that's why aaron sorkin's so amazing match game doesn't do that for you well it depends on the night but right. I mean, <laughs> it depends might. on the question that they're posing you don't know i guess i mean i do watch jeopardy every night too so i used to hmm. and i don't know why i stopped i don't know it's cool. oh it's probably because i go to bed at six o'clock <laughs> <Right>. um <laughs> maybe yeah um oh here's something that i want to do here's a little 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 crafty thing that we're gonna do um so i belong to i don't do i do we belong to grove is it a grove i don't want you to put this in your hand i just want you to smell it yeah i was just gonna um (laughs) but you were putting your hand like you wanted me to like pour some out onto your hand so i i get my cleaning supplies and my hand sanitizer and my gar- well, my stuff right. through Grove. Right. And it's because their commercials were so annoying and repetitive, they broke me down. Right. They I worked. Got- yeah, they totally worked. Mm-hmm. So ordered things a few times. What I really like is on the box, on the outside, they they write, stay, Kel- stay healthy, Kelly. Aww. Adorable. That's really sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so-, <laughs> so I got... My most recent delivery. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And I decided to go with something kind of fall-like. Right. Festive. It's a spiced pumpkin scent, Hmm. limited edition. I'm like, I want in. Yeah. So You're a sucker for it. Yep. I want you to smell that, and I want you to tell me what you think it smells like. Because something leaked in the the shipping box, and my entire apartment smelled like that because it leaked all over the box. But it's not 
in spice. It's not pumpkin, but it is spice. You know what it is? It's a chicken curry. Oh. Isn't it? A curry in a hurry? Yeah. In a bottle. Yikes. It's a it's a chicken curry scent, limited edition. Huh. So my I was like, ooh, when I opened up the box, I was like, oh, it hmm. smells like Indian food in my house. And I love Indian food. But and we won't go away. That'll be on your hands for days. Yikes. No matter how many layers of skin you scrub off, hmm. it'll be there. Hmm. Um, what else do I have? Ooh. So during the summer, I decided for no reason whatsoever, probably because I was just laying in the backyard not doing anything. In your hammock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When the ice cream truck guy went by. Yes. You know, every episode we mention ice cream trucks. Because we're obsessed. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> So I was laying in my backyard and I just decided to record the Mr. Dingling song. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I had, I made it a point to send this to Michelle so I could find it. Um, so I'm going to play you the first one, like the normal one. Okay. And, and then a couple of weeks ago, there was a truck that went by and it sounded like kind of like a sort of jacked up. Mm. and hang on it's gonna give me it's gonna maybe take a second do you have anything to talk about while why i'm looking for it no but i could really use a screwball right now (sighs) now i'm just a jerk um i guess into that one (laughs) we could maybe maybe take a minute to um do you want to talk about trump do you want to talk about his his covid status that we learned today yeah, it's so yeah, so he tested positive today. Yeah. From what we know from reports. From what we know. Yeah. Woke it woke me up this morning at one AM. Silly person I am went to sleep with the phone in my room, which I never should do. Um, I I don't think I could find it. It's okay. I, I'm gonna continue scrolling. Um, did I send it to myself? I don't even you know what? I send I'm I'm scrolling through stuff that i sent to michelle i sent her some weird stuff and i sent her like a lot of pictures of like here's what's currently going on in the backyard (laughs) here's me with some broken blood vessels in my eye yeah Um, i can't find it um i'm sorry so i don't know if we'll cut this part out of the show or maybe we'll just i don't know maybe we won't maybe we won't um i'll save that for next time yeah um what else do you have what else do you want to talk about i don't know goodness (laughs) (laughs) goodness <laughs> goodness <laughs> oh my <laughs> you're gonna come back in a week and you're gonna have like a British accent right well, I do love the football now you sure do my new oh, kids are arriving just, I was taking <laughs> I was getting the the takeaway out of my <laughs> out of the boot of my car on my way over to your we, flat. We do say takeaway out of my house. You do? <laughs> Maybe you are just like secretly British. Well, I mean, I'm Scottish, but I'm not English. Right. Right. But I Same do. Thing, I am like right? an Anglophile. You know my love for QE too. Yep. <laughs> You so, know her like actual birthday April and then her celebrated birthday. In June. Yeah. From the Trooping of the Color. And for those of you who can't see Margo, which is everybody because it's a podcast. <laughs> Except you. She's she's rolling her eyes. <laughs> oh my god. As she said that kind of like everybody knows this. I have I have no idea. No. Um <laughs> sorry. You knew that birthday was in the spring i did but i didn't remember like what day well, her and like what in month april i knew what is, season it was in her birthday in april is near my mom's so i knew that okay and then the trooping the color is my favorite british activity because the whole royal family gets on the balcony <laughs> they wear the great outfits mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. a hat or two a baby <laughs> i love it all <laughs> There's always a baby. I will. They keep having them. That's so, a yeah. really fertile family. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I think like well, I mean the Queen had four children, yeah. and then they've all had a bunch of kids. Yeah, and now they're having kids. Yeah, there's just, a lot. I bet you Christmas happens. at that place is crazy. Yeah, you know. I think they're they go to one of the castles for Christmas. I think. Yeah, Sandringham. You don't know which one? Sandringham, I think. <laughs> but you guys don't quote her on that. <laughs> 
She's like 90, 90% 90 sure. percent sure. Um, I don't think, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I tried to take a nap today before you came over to do this show and it didn't really take. Yeah. Ooh, you want to know why? Because I watched on Netflix and I don't know, you probably don't want to watch it because you don't like murder stuff. No. Do you remember the woman named Shanann Watts? No. She lived in Colorado and her husband killed her and her two kids. Do you remember this? So I do now that you're telling me because I saw that he, like he's all over the media because he's having a reaction to the show. Oh, he is? Yes. And he's no idea. He keeps I live saying, in such a bubble. He keeps saying, you know, from <laughs> the place I get all my media. All my news. Go ahead. You know where I get it from. People.com. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, Clearly. (laughs) I read other sources too, but that's just where I get my entertainment news. Sure. Um, But he was like, oh, I'm so triggered by this. And I was like, hey, buddy, how about you just don't kill your family? Here's an idea. Just don't kill people. If, If you want to get out of your marriage, maybe divorce. It's an option. And here's the thing. He's one of the dumbest people mm-hmm. I've ever seen on television in my entire life. Yeah. And like, I know a lot of dumb people. I am one of those dumb people. Yeah. But he can't even complete a sentence without saying like oh. every three words. Yeah. And here's the thing. If you are going to create this story, maybe cry a little bit. No. Because the next door neighbor guy who had... He had a camera, like a security camera. Mm-hmm. Cops went over to the neighbor's house to see if he could get any, you know, any footage. angles on what happened, any mm-hmm. footage. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And he couldn't see anything. Mm. So Chris leaves and the cop and weird neighbor guy who kind of looked like a crazy hunter, mm. um, but like not hunting, just kind of like crazy wearing like an orange hat. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, he said to the cop, yeah, that, that guy's not right. Mm. he's usually pretty quiet he's rocking back and forth something's not right so he kind of like neighbor knew neighbor knew like instantly broke the case yeah. broke the case but often it is it is the partner the spouse the husband the wife the girlfriend the boyfriend yeah there were some it's statistics the at the one. end of the show yeah it's a oh, it's a lot i mean yeah. i don't want to go to a dark place no. because this is this is work that you and i used to do together correct and that's just, you know, they offered statistics at the end of the show. And I was yeah. like, ooh, that number seems very high. Did they offer some resources too? No. Oh. No, which was really weird. That's weird. Oh, maybe they did. And maybe I just, just, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to catch everything. Because what happens when the show is ending, they're already saying like, here's the preview for the next thing that right. you're going to watch. And, and they're like, it's going to start in 15 seconds. 15 seconds. seconds. Yep. And, you're and like, I'm like, ah! That's, it's, I can get a COVID test in that amount of time. Right. Right. Um, and then I get, well, do I want to watch that? And maybe, so I, I think that maybe there were. Do you feel like Netflix judges you? Because I feel judged 100%. when it's like, are you still watching? And I was like, yes. you know what? I am. It's a <laughs> pandemic. Step off. But how do they know? And why do they care? I don't know. I, I don't know why they care. Because Right? Are you still watching? Because if not... I'm going to go. Right. That's what it's next- like. It's like, I don't have time to keep playing these shows for you. Right. You've watched three and a half seasons of Gossip Girl. Just saying. Maybe. Right. Who knows? Right. Are you, are you, are you still, I hear it as, are you still watching this? I know. I and, know. and then you have to hit yes. I know. Every time when Grace and I watch Parks and Rec, it'll ask us like, are you still watching Parks and Rec? And I was like, Amy Poehler's a genius. Yeah. Of course we are. Not wrong. And does Hulu do that? No. I don't think they do. Well, I have the Hulu with ads. Oh. So it's like, it's kind of old school. It feels yeah. more like a TV experience. I don't love it, but I will watch, a, you know, original programming on Hulu. You have to go ad free. <sighs> I don't know. Okay. I don't manage Just, all those, but. Okay. You know. Well, I mean. Talk to Dan Bates. Oh, sorry. Talk to Grace Bates about it. Right. Exactly. Right. See if she could the make real, it happen. The real dance in the family. Yep. Exactly. So, um, um, I like the no ads mm-hmm. because when I do want, well, actually, some of the shows do have commercials, even if they are ad free. They lie. 
Sure. So if it's a show that's currently on television. You're going to have commercials. You're going to have commercials. Right. Even if you pay for. The no the, ads. The no ads. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been finding, depending on what I'm watching and what time, it's basically the same five commercials. It is. But I also find myself like looking up the things <laughs> they're advertising. This is why I have curry flavored soap in right. my life. Good RX. I was like, what? What is this that you talk about? It's and on my phone. <laughs> Googled yeah. It. yeah. Maybe I could be saving money. <laughs> I don't know. That woman saved $87 well, for her she's, child. She's a smart shopper. So. <laughs> Doesn't she seem, I don't know, uh, again, I don't want to judge because God knows I don't do that. Doesn't that woman seem like a little bit old to have children that young? I was wondering, but then I, yeah, I just was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm glad they're a family. It's yeah, good. Absolutely. It's good. Maybe and she's saving money. And absolutely. He and needed his asthma medicine. Hand, yep. So. And she like works in it. Like she's like a waitress. Or like a factory worker. I, I couldn't tell. Like, I, I don't know. I thought the one that like. She's she wearing had. a dress. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. So she she came right in from the coal mine, right to the pharmacy, hit the good RX app. She's sitting pretty. <laughs> Canary on her shoulder. Headlamp. <laughs> like a pick. Yeah. But like, I, like I in the side. Funny. <laughs> but they are. And it's like cuckling. Cookling when she's walking through the pharmacy <laughs> and the lights going up and down. Like the seven dwarves. Can you can you name all the seven dwarfs? Um probably. Um Sneezy, Doc, um, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful. Mm-hmm. That's five? Mm-hmm. I can't. Hmm. I'm going to have to Google. Right? Grumpy? Yeah. Is grumpy, grumpy one? Grumpy. Or is it angry? No, grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just missing one. We're totally going to be like, ah. <sighs> because usually people miss Doc. Did I say Doc? Yeah, you did. Hmm. And you got sneezy, sleepy. So. Grumpy? Um, angry? Mm. Bitter? <laughs> <laughs> Dopey. Oh, darn it. I forgot Dopey. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people do that. I'm sure he does that because he's stupid. <laughs> so this is also interesting. There's, I look it up on the internet. It's like seven doors. First of all, there's eight here because there's two docs. <laughs> <laughs> Google, where have you taken me? This is so wrong. Yeah. Sneezy, sleepy, happy doc, grumpy, dopey, bashful. And they all... I was close. Don't they all look like drunks? A little bit. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, especially, like, obviously, like, Sleepy does. Right. You know? like Sneezy he looks, with yeah. a big nose. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's more of, like, a... Maybe but they like all, a, like, lived in that little cabin all by like themselves. Like a nose drug yeah. thing. I don't know. I don't want to judge. I don't live his life. So. No, no. And, you know, I mean, look at what they had to wear. Look at where they lived. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Did the they live movie. in a tree? No, oh, they had like a cabin. Oh. Like a little cabin. Here's the thing. All all Disney movies yep. are like lost on me. You've never seen them or I've you just seen, don't like, understand them? I, well, <laughs> well, well we both. We break them down. <laughs> no, like I, I didn't watch them as a child. Okay. Like I, I hate anything that's like sci-fi. Can't stand it. Okay. Like anything that's not... Like, based in reality. Mm-hmm. I don't like. Like, there's no way, like, a bunch of... Oh, little dwarves. Drunk dwarves lived in a... the little girl and the apple. Tree. And, yeah. Or whatever. The beauty and the beast and the yeah, castle and like all a, that. Well, that was just... That was, you know... Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, it you know, was. That's all that was. Yeah. Um, yeah, because she fell for her... She fell in love with her, her character. Yeah. yeah. Who, like, put her in a, in a cage. When right? The, no, she put her... He put her dad in a cage, and then oh. she just got locked into the castle. Oh. But he gave her a pretty dress and let her dance, so, <laughs> so there's that. I mean, it really all worked out. <laughs> in the end, but I mean, I get your point. The theory right. is valid. Yeah, it's just, so, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I, things like that just really kind of annoyed mm. me. As a um, child. 
Yeah, and like yeah. I guess still do. Sure. Here's a here's a little fact about me. You want to hear something weird? Oh, sure. Um, you know that song from Frozen, "Let It Go." Mm-hmm. I kid you not. I have never heard that song in my life. Do you want me to sing it? No, I don't. <laughs> I've heard people sing it, but you never heard. But I've never Adina I've, Menzel. See, I don't. You know Adina Menzel no. from Wicked, Wicked fame. No. She's a famous Broadway actress. No. I don't really like Broadway either. Okay. That's it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Good. You um, know what? That's why we have channels and choices, menus. This is why there's four seasons of Cagney and Lacey just sitting there waiting for waiting me. Waiting for you with coffee written on it. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. for you. But but here's the thing. <coughs> oh, my God. I'm dying. <coughs> Hang on a <laughs> and I'm laughing. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks for your support. It's really good. Appreciate it. I'm dying. You are hilarious. No, really, I am. Okay, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Take a breath. Ooh, okay. Need a little, a little reset. Sip of tea. A little reset. Um, now I lost my train of thought. You know what? I honestly feel like we've lost control of this show. <laughs> We went off the rails about twenty minutes. We ago. really did. Sorry, um, so you know, whatever whatever stays in stays in. Yeah. Um, there's not though. much I can do. Thank you so much, Margo. Thank it's been you. a lot of fun. It is always fun. Um, we didn't thank a lot of people last week. I know. So yeah, I know. we just like we did the show, got the hell out of there. Well, we were tired. Um, yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So this week, um, I want to thank our executive producers. Derek Fanton and Amanda yes. Jones. Thank you. Um, I want to thank our sponsor, mm-hmm. Doggy Styles Dog Grooming. Don't know their number. I never have it available. That's okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's all right. They're in Colchester. Give them a call. Give them a call. Um, and actually, I went there last week with Poppy because mm-hmm. Poppy gets his nails done. Sure. Like once every four to five weeks. Mm-hmm. Um. And I know that Henry doesn't get his nails done. Well, we do them at home. Okay. Like mm-hmm. he's, he's like, he's a homebound kind of guy. Mm-hmm. I, it's, it's the most relaxing 10 minutes mm-hmm. that I will spend in like any business establishment. That's awesome. Joanne's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Emma's wonderful. Casey, who works there, mm-hmm. left me a poppy little note because she wasn't there last oh, Sunday. So sweet. I love those people. Yeah. Um, who else do we need to thank? We need to thank Polarity Painting. Always. Um, and the generous donation from the Polarity Foundation mm-hmm. that makes this show possible. Yes. Um, our intro and outro music is Hold Me Down by John Worthy and the Benz. And we will see you guys in... I'm going to try and convince Margot to do another show next week um so take care you guys talk to you soon bye